Hi, my name is Shana with Adventures in Fluff, and today I'm going to be showing you how to sew some extended tabs onto your pre-fold diapers. So, first thing you're going to want to do is collect all your supplies. You're going to need a pre-fold diaper. Just make sure that's already pre-prepped. You don't want a brand new um, pre-fold that hasn't been prepped uh, for your project, so make sure that's prepped and ready to go. You're going to need a piece of fabric that is cut into the designated size that you need. It's going to be about four and a half inches wide and then the length of the fabric piece is going to depend upon the width of your diaper. So what you're going to want to do is make it about, about three inches longer on each side. Um, than the pre-fold is. And that will allow for turning and top stitching as well so you don't have to account for that. Some other items that you're going to want um, are some scissors. You're going to want a marking utensil, some sort, pen, marker, uh, fabric chalk, something like that. You're going to want some pins in order to pin your fabric. And then if you want, um, you're going to need a template to draw your circles on the edge of your um, extended tabs. I just happen to have a ribbon spool that happened to be exactly the right um, circumference. You can cut out your own template or you can just freehand the circled edges yourself without a template. And then um, you're also going to want your clothes iron in order to iron your fabrics. So let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is take your fabric piece and you're going to want to fold that in half lengthwise. Now you just want to fold it so it's nice and lined up and then when you get that all lined up you're going to want to iron it flat. So we'll just iron this nice and flat and now I have a nice crisp edge on the side. Now what you're going to want to do now is take your circle template and put that on each side and trace it out with your marking utensil. Put it just right up to the edge of your um, wing tab. You don't want to be cutting off a whole bunch of your wing tab um, when you do this. Now I've already cut out my circles on the side so I'm not going to redo it, but um, once you make your circles on the edges, then you're just going to want to cut those out like I have here. And you're going to end up with two rounded edges. And it should still be that, that um, three inches on both sides because I put that circle template right up to the edge of where my tab was so I didn't lose any length. I just wanted to round them out. Now after you have your rounded edge tabs. You're just going to want to take some pins and pin your um, openings closed just so it doesn't shift when you try and sew this um, straight on the edges. So I'll just put a couple pins in here. And then what you're going to want to do is take a straight stitch and stitch around the openings of this um, extended tab. No need to sew on the side that is folded over since that's obviously not going to open. But starting at the corner where you first started cutting and, um, and continue sewing a straight stitch about a quarter of an inch in until you reach about a third of the way. So about right here. Then you're going to stop. Um, back stitch again and cut your thread. Leave an opening that's about two to three inches and then you're going to want to start again and continue on a quarter of an inch in until you hit the end of the cut half circle over on this side. Making sure to back stitch at both the beginning and end of each of your stitching just so it doesn't pull out. Once you do that you're going to end up with a um, piece that looks something like this. 
I have my little opening in the center where I have not sewn, but I do have my stitching all the round, way around the edge about a quarter of an inch in. Now what you're going to want to do is turn your tab right side out. Now it is a little bit more difficult than some of our other projects to turn these inside out just because of the um, width of them and uh, the long length, but with a little bit of work you can get those completely out. Just kind of work them out so you have your nice rounded edge. And then we'll do the other side. And just push that through. Sometimes sticking your finger in the opposite side and pulling it through is a little bit easier. And just kind of roll it until you get everything all worked out. Now what you're going to want to do is iron this completely flat so it's a nice crisp edge. But before you do that, you're going to want to turn the ends, edges of um, that little opening inward so it creates the same width all the way around your, um, your tab. So you won't be able to tell the openings there at all. So just turn those in and then iron that all flat. This will just make a nice crisp edge and it'll make it a lot easier when it comes time to sew this onto your prefold. Make sure you check your opening just to make sure that the edges are tucked in enough that when you do sew it, it's going to um, it's going to be able to be sealed. If it just has a teensy bit of fabric poked in there, then it's going to come. It's not going to seal when you sew over it. So now I have this nice crisp wing tab, and I'm ready to sew this onto my prefold diaper. So I'm going to take my prefold. And uh, I'm going to position my tab at the top of the prefold. Now I usually like to have my opening facing downward. It just seems to conceal that opening a little bit more when you, when you um, seal it because it is going to still have that tiny little lip. Although it will be sealed closed, it will have a little lip. So we will just line this up, make sure that the tabs are equal on both sides of the diaper and just line it up along the top, maybe slightly above the edge of the prefold, just so you don't see the edge of the prefold when you put your diaper on. Then I'm going to take some pins and pin the extended tab onto my prefold so it doesn't shift while sewing. I usually use about four pins. I just really want to make sure that this is, doesn't shift because the prefold's a little bit ruffly around the edges and um, it makes it a little bit more difficult to get a nice, clean, straight stitch across that top portion. So just make sure you have enough pins to keep that nice and secure. So, I have my four pins across the top. You can see the wings poking out the side. And then what I'm going to do is sew around the edge of my um, extended tabs to attach it to the prefold. Now, you don't need to go all the way out on your sewing all the way onto the tabs. Just sew the portion that um, makes it attached to the prefold. So what you're essentially going to end up with is a really long rectangle of sewing. So just starting at one of the corners, sew down, cross the bottom, making sure to seal in that little pocket opening, and then you'll sew right back up on this side and then across the top to seal it all on the top. Making sure to backstitch at the beginning and end of each of your stitches, and then cutting the thread close to the um, fabric. This is going to be about an eighth of an inch in, just a straight stitch around the edge of the diaper. Now what you're going to end up with 
once you've finished that is your completed extended tab prefold. So it looks really cute. It looks something like that. You can kind of see the long rectangle sewn on the inside. All depends on what kind of coordinating or cross contrasting fat, um, threads that you end up using. And then I will show you on my lovely little model right here how this is going to work. So I'm just going to do a basic fold here. Bring this up through Teddy's legs. Cross the tabs over. If Teddy was a little fatter, I'd have plenty of room now to leave that out a little bit further to give him a little bit more tummy room. Whereas without the extended tabs, you would probably have to move up to the next size of prefold in order to get a larger um, tummy span. So I'm just going to close those tabs. And then I'm going to take my snappy, or you can use pins, whichever one works best for you. Another good thing about the extended tabs is that you could probably get away with just using one pin in the center versus one pin on each side. So less pins is a little bit less work. So this is what Teddy looks like with his extended tab pre-fold on. Very cute on the back. All depends on what fabric you choose and you can spruce it up however you like. So there's your instructions on how to sew your own extended tab pre-fold. I hope that yours come out really cute and feel free to post pictures on my Facebook page just so I can see how yours came out too. So thanks for joining me and I hope you'll join me again for another one of our do-it-yourself projects and another one of my adventures and fluff. Thank you.